What's good, y'all? It's Turk, and I'm back with another video. But first, what time is it? It's Turk time. I've been at it, I've been moving with a purpose Show respect to execution If I got it, I deserve it Let them know Every day I go hard Cause I want it all This was all hard work Luck was not involved If you didn't notice You didn't realize what's going on I'm uploading every day for the month of July So far, so good Wish me luck Quarantine files Even though I'm essential. I've been working every day since, so we're trying to make shit happen. So if you didn't know what was going on, that's what's happening. That's why I've been uploading so much because we're going to try to do every day for the month of July. We got things like mukbangs coming. Um, we have debates coming. Um, maybe reactions coming. We got more football coming, of course. Um, we could do ratings. I'm going to show you guys my tattoos, I'm going to show you what they mean to me, and um, my next date for a tattoo, because that's coming up real soon, so. I'm giving you a bunch of content for July, please like, share, subscribe, just, just show me love, this is like a discipline thing, I committed to doing every day of July, I'm going to do every day of July. Another thing, um, I hit... 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cheer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you too. Yeah, thank you guys for supporting so far. We got more content on the way. I know you guys are gonna love it. Wow, y'all, a thousand subscribers. This almost feels as good as that, uh, that game seal and catch. After another Shamrocks punt, the Generals will get the ball back looking to tie the game. But Amparo overthrows his intended receiver, and Sherrod Hayward breaks for the ball. Hayward picks off the pass and only has Amparo to beat. Amparo goes for the strip, but Hayward fights through and gets into the end zone. The pick six for Hayward sends Kelleher into a frenzy as the crowd in the sideline could now start to celebrate. How does it feel to have 1,000 subscribers? And how did I get here, you know? Um, it was a long time coming. It took me like a whole year to get a thousand subscribers. I'm hoping that it won't take me two years to get to 2,000. Consistency was the hardest part. Thinking of video ideas without being too cheesy. I'm not into the fake pranks. There's a lot of things I'm not into that big YouTubers are that um, I kind of refuse to do. Not because I'm uncomfortable with it. It's just not me and I want you guys to like me for me it, it is hard to get your friends and family to subscribe and actually like and give your channel feedback so honestly i wanted support from outside my friends i probably could name about nine friends that actually subscribed they liked and they shared a video um this is friends and family by the way so I, I could say like less than 10 people has done that. My support definitely came from outside, usually from tags on Instagram, usually the tags and keywords I have on YouTube. Um, it's tough, it's tough getting that love, but once the ball's rolling, everybody wanna be involved. See, that's where you messed up. You can't be involved once the ball rolling, okay? So I kinda done this for the most part by myself. I've been getting more help lately, but I won't forget the ones who did support and help me get to this level. And I won't forget you if you help me get to the next level. So this is for us. You people know who you are. Um, if you ever need help from me, I got you. So right now, if you're watching and you want a thousand subscribers, this is what I suggest you do. One, stay consistent. You're gonna get there, I'm telling you, just, just stay consistent, trust me. It sucks when you're making videos and your first few videos have five views, 10 views at, at, on your best day, maybe 50, between 50 and 60. It sucks, but it's gonna grow, just stay with it. It's like a plant, you just don't put a seed in soil, water it, and expect it to grow immediately before your eyes. So, in some cases, that might work for some people. Those are called miracles, okay? I'm not living a miracle. So, 
I'd say stay consistent because when you don't, the few subscribers that you do have, you'll lose. So you got to put on a show, whether it's for 1,000 people or 10. Second thing I would do is share your own content. Share it. Blow it up. If people see it enough, they're going to click it or just remove you as a friend. But stay consistent. You got to spam it. You want people to support you. You can't just tell them once because, you know, I'll get to it type of people. No, I need you to watch it now. You kind of got to put it in people's face. You can't just say the food is ready. You got to walk the plate to them. Three, this is if you want to, but I'd say you just cover trendy topics. If you see something that's tr trending, like I remember a few years ago is the the one chip challenge, you know, I didn't get the chance to do that because they kept selling out before I can get to it, but it happens. But I, I guess the trendy stuff works if that's your thing. Me, I haven't done anything trendy. Um, just because, again, that's not me. But if it works for you and other YouTubers, I would try it. One thing I'm going to suggest in between is... Even though I mess up a lot on this, try your best not to cuss in your videos. I, I feel like YouTube likes the, the more clean cut people. I'm not very clean cut just yet, but it's something that I'm working on. So cut down the swearing. And guys, I keep forgetting this. So this is just a warning to you. Don't play music in the background that you don't own because you get the copyrights. You're not gonna make any money off of it. Not that I'm making money off YouTube. Because I'm not, but I'm not making money yet, I should say. But um, when you have somebody else's music playing in the background, unless it's your homeboy, homegirl, or the music that YouTube provides you with, don't use it. Man, even if I'm sitting in the car and I have the radio on in the background, sometimes I forget I'm talking to you guys, I get really into it and forget music was playing in the background. So now I gotta mute myself and I'm just giving you guys good information. Have you noticed it's silent? The next tip, um, I would have a slogan. Everybody popular that I watch has a slogan. Um, me, you know what time it is. It's Turk time. I've been at it. You know, something like that and then usually my intro plays right after somebody says Turk time is actually funny because there's a few times that I forget to say it's Turk time and somebody else says it and the intro comes in immediately so that's pretty cool um, I'd say have a slogan man it goes a long way or have a name for your subscribers or your supporters um, I don't have a name for my supporters or subscribers right now, but I would still suggest that um, I go as Turk. Yes, it's short for Turkey. Feels weird calling people turkeys, so I'm still working on it. But if you like it, maybe we can figure something out. Another tip is have an intriguing intro. Um, my intro wasn't all that at first. I paid a little bit of money to get a good intro and it still didn't come out well so I just had to throw one up myself it's still not going to be my final intro but it's a lot better than what I had and since I changed that intro my videos have been doing just a tad bit better so I don't know if it's because of the intro but I could say I'm satisfied more with the intro I have now one thing I do on Instagram is I use a lot of YouTube-like hashtags. So there's a bunch of people commenting like, oh, YouTube friends or sub for sub. Now, I want to reply to everybody, but after a while, it gets kind of crazy to reply to everybody. I get around to it eventually. So if I haven't responded to you, don't think I'm ignoring you. Um, I'm getting around to everybody. So if you are leaving YouTube hashtags under your IG pics and you're getting a lot of responses, reply to them. Make us all family and that's how the world go around. If I'm eating, this person can eat. Everybody can eat. It doesn't have to be one person on top. So let's support each other, okay? Another tip is I'm not the best editor, but at least have decent editing. Um, I'm okay with it. I'm starting to get better right now. I'm still using iMovie even though I have Final Cut. 
yeah i know i need to get around to it i need to get good at it so if you can edit really well and keep people's attention just from the editing alone over your personality then that's great i'd say do that stick with it another thing is i would say have good lighting right now this light is harsh but i'm out in the sun i'm at work the sun is killing me right now but at home i do have a ring light it has many levels it could go from dim to very bright i try to use that as much as i can when i'm shooting in the house and that's what makes the quality come out a little bit better when you have good lighting so you can have the best camera but if you don't have the best lighting it's not gonna mean much another tip is i know everybody says it but thumbnails you gotta have a nice thumbnail if you want people to click on the video because it's the first thing they see when they search for something on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, I do not have the best thumbnails, but I'm learning. And when I pop out with my thumbnails, you guys are gonna be really surprised. So right now I'm learning, it's, it's still in a process. I know I have your basic thumbnails now, but once I get the hang of editing these thumbnails, I'm gonna come out. All the ones that I have now is gonna change. It's gonna look great, trust me. Um, but that's a process. So I'm telling you now, if you don't know, please learn how to edit thumbnails or just know how to take them in between your video that you're recording or even at the end of the video you're recording, you know, just, just make a nice thumbnail. Next step, I would say have witty titles. I feel like I have witty titles. It's, sometimes it's misleading, but it's not like misleading as hi I got you to click my video it's just like click my video because this is like a thriller it's suspense it's mystery so click on my video so you can find out exactly what I'm talking about like my last video called hanging it up um, you know hanging it up sounds like retirement did I retire you gotta watch that video all right guys that is how I got to a thousand subscribers in about a year. If you guys follow the steps, I'm positive that you can get it in a month or even less than that. I was slacking, do not slack, okay? So I'm Turk, that's my time. I wish you guys the best of luck and let's grow together. I'm Turk and I'm out. Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the script, swear I'm always skeptical. Starring me.